Chris Perry from Equity Guru here with uh, an update today on the lithium scene. Uh, today, March 27, there was some news came out of Australia uh, where it seems that LTR, Lion Town Resources, rejected uh, a pretty significant, uh, at least in Australian dollar terms, 5.5 million Australian dollars, which is about 3 million uh, US, uh, a takeover bid from Albemarle for their uh, lithium company there. So this is interesting in a couple of different ways. Number one, this is not the first bid that uh, Albemarle has made for Liontown. This is actually the third. Uh, one they made back in October for $2.20 a share. They've made it one in uh, March for $2.30. And more recently now, $2.50 they're going for. So they're pretty uh, adamantly looking to get this property. Uh, in the meantime, every time they've made a bid, it's ramped up the stock and then they've rejected it and that stock has dropped back down around a buck fifty. Uh, it's been up and down now three times over six months. Not as savagely as today, up 40% uh, as soon as that information came out. Now, why would this be interesting to you if you don't necessarily invest in Australian resource companies? Well, it tells you that globally lithium is heating up. Now, not all the lithium stocks are running hot. Uh, the, the market in general is sort of run a bit cold just recently, but when it does get a bump, it gets a bump across the board. Here's what's happening is you can get lithium in a lot of places, like realistically, uh, there's enough lithium supply out there that you could fuel the need for your Teslas and your future e-vehicles. Uh, but getting at it is not always easy. And in fact, uh, sometimes can be quite the thing uh, getting the technology together to pull lithium out of the ground in wherever the heck it is that you found some. So LTR has got a, a pretty decent project and they're moving along quickly. It's not a small deal. Australia loves its lithium deals and loves its mining projects. Let's be clear. So if you're a big company like Albemarle, it makes sense to circle the wagons a little bit, get another nice big thing out there and, uh, and not be the ones that are at risk of losing supply at some future date. It tells me that all the other lithium suppliers out there or explorers out there are in play. If they can progress their property in ways that make the big boys see them as real. Now, this is the big thing. It's all well and good to say, I've got a lithium property or I've got 10 lithium properties. But unless you can get one to the point where you're actively pulling some lithium out of the ground, processing it and able to deliver it in a way that these guys can make use i don't know if there's that much but it's interesting that we have some activity in the lithium space it's interesting that albemarle despite being one of the big boys despite always being well like we can turn the taps on any time they're out there offering billions of dollars for exploration properties that are in an advanced state not to mention offering money offering money three times now having rejected the two dollars fifty offer uh, that has been put out. Uh, mind you, this got the stock up from a buck sixty to two fifty in one morning. So, in and of itself, good business. In rejecting that offer, you've got to sort of think to yourself, what is Lion Town really looking for? They're claiming that Albemarle doesn't value the property highly enough. I would say that a forty percent, or sorry, sixty percent premium to the share price makes it a pretty fair offer. But if Lion Town actually thinks that it's worth more. And that the work that they've done recently and the market in general and their property being a nice big fat swatch of lithium uh, makes this worth more money. That means everybody else is going to start getting a lift as well. If these guys come in and make a $3 offer and get an approval, that's interesting for the whole damn sector. And if I think back to the last lithium boom back in the days when lithium X was a thing, and the Chinese came in and finally took them out for a couple of billion dollars and the whole damn industry blew up for a bit. This could be the catalyst for another industry blow up. If you're into lithium, if you're into lithium explorers, now is a really interesting time. Now we've got a client company up here in Canada, uh, Beyond Metals, that we think is interesting in the lithium space. We're gonna do more about them in a little bit, but BY is the ticker symbol and uh, same crew that uh, is behind Prismo Metals, which is over the last uh, calendar year been going on a nice big run. At the moment, you're looking at about 32 cents for Beyond Minerals stock. 
that's up from 18 cents in January, which is up from 14 cents in October and 10 cents in September before that. So Beyond Minerals is an, uh, sorry, yes, Beyond Minerals, BY, is something to look out for in the Canadian space if you think that there's going to be a bit of a blow up in lithium. Frankly, I do. To me, the big boy is making a move. That's interesting. If it was a smaller company, if it was a mid-range company looking to get a smaller company, if it was a micro cap being snapped up, that's less interesting. But to me, when one of the big three goes out there and tries to make a substantial takeover of a property that uh, has a lot of lithium, no question about it, in a country that likes you to go and get the lithium if you can, I think this is really intriguing. Canadian lithium and American lithium is going to be really in demand in the next couple of years as e-vehicles and e-batteries uh, really take off. Right now, if you're going to get yourself a lithium supply, you're going to South America. There's a lot of cost involved in dragging lithium up from there. Uh, the battery manufacturers, well, they're largely in Asia, so that's a bit of a trek. Uh, but the Gigafactory, you know, as much as I, Elon pisses me off, Tesla's got a big need for lithium. And local lithium is going to be an important thing. So I think that puts Canadian lithium squarely in the frame. And if we're at a point now where M&A activity is happening in the lithium space at a large level, I think that you want to start going around and finding all those little explorers that are going to put you right in the sweet spot in the next three to six months. Uh, and if that's interesting to you, hit the subscribe button so you get more of this.